if I scream, if I just happen to fall out and uh, pass out, um, someone knows CPR, right? Okay. Well, oh well, that's fine. Um, but I have high levels of anxiety. I freak out over the stupidest little thing, and I cry, and I just pull out my hair, and I'm pretty sure I've got gray hairs already, and I'm only 23. Um, my fiance is the complete opposite. He's he's from Haiti, so he's got that Caribbean attitude. Don't worry, man. Everything's gonna be all right. And I'm like, don't say it. And he's like, calm down. And I just flip. And I'm like, that's the worst thing you could possibly say to me right now. Why am I supposed to be calm down? And he's just like, sweetheart, God's got it. And I'm like, <sighs> because what I fail to realize in my anxiety and in my circumstances is that the God who is the God yesterday and of our history and of our past is my God in the present and he will continue to be our God in the future. And so in that, I need to calm down. And I'm pretty sure Olivia passed out my scripture verse, um, verses to you guys. It's from my favorite book in the Bible, which is Philippians. And it's the last chapter, Philippians 4. And I want to more so focus on the very beginning of for I think the rest of it is clear. But if you just want to look at it with me, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say it, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all, for the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to the Lord. In the New Living Translation, verse six actually reads, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Verse 7, in the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Wow. Already I'm calm. Because I remember who I am in God. And not my circumstances, not how you're judging me or how you're looking at me thinking, this girl's like a squirrel. She's all over the place. <laughs> for my reason is to rejoice. Paul wouldn't say it if it wasn't a big deal. He said it twice, and he emphasized with the word, again. Again, I say rejoice, for my God is my God. He was as he was yesterday. He was as he is. To, he is who he is today. He will be. And it's so awesome that I look back, you know, and I've done a whole year of grad school already, and I'm thinking it's just glorified undergrad, but it's so much more, and I think I've already done three all-nighters. Um, and this semester has just started. Hmm. But I remember sitting at my desk one day, and I'm pretty sure you all have been there one way, shape, or form, and you're thinking, why am I up at 4 a.m. writing this paper that's due in two hours? <laughs> <laughs> we've all been there. We've all freaked out, and we've all cried those tears and complained to our significant others, and we've all just sat there and thought, I can't do this, and yet we're sitting here still. We may have not gotten a good grade on that paper. We may have gotten better of a grade than we obviously deserve. But the fact is, God got us through that. We had to pay precautions sometimes, repercussions sometimes, but he gets us through it. We are not dead. I'm not dead yet. And he continues to bring us through our circumstances. So right now, this will pass. So I just have to remember that who I am is rooted in Christ, that he's my God and my past, my present, and my future. And so when I continuously get anxious, when we continuously stress out as the semester progresses, I pray that you are able to just recognize who you are in God. I pray that as we grow together as classmates, as, as, as friends, as, as longtime alumni of Southeastern University, that we hold true that God is our God and that we don't have to worry about anything that we can rejoice in our circumstances, that we can give him praise for what he's already done, and that as we're moving forward with our worries of future graduation, of jobs, of ministry, and full-time load, I pray that we can always move and trust in our rejoicing. And so in the back of that paper, um, I just challenge you guys to think about one thing that you're really stressing about right now, one thing you're really anxious about, and write down the praise that you know that God is doing in your life right now surrounding that circumstance. And root yourself back into the God of our past, our past, our present, and our 